and welcome back. So today we are going to be giving you guys an in-depth tour of our dollhouse or my appearance. I'm just wearing a hat because my hair is messy and I'm wearing baby pajamas, so yay. Basically, this video we are going to be telling you guys what we made things out of, you know, what we used to make the furniture, how we made stuff, pretty much. So if you guys want to get ideas, this is a great video to give you ideas for your dolls and your doll houses. So let's go ahead and get started. But first, before we even get started, I do want to say one thing. There is an actual, actual doll house tour that you guys might want to watch. This video is simply if you want to get the behind the scenes of the doll house and see, yeah, just get ideas, okay? I keep talking. Let's just go ahead and get started. I don't want this video to be ridiculously long, so let's just get started. All right, guys, so here is the actual full dollhouse from top to bottom. This dollhouse we actually got at a thrift store and don't remember how much it was, but all, we, all I know is that it was, it was like less than 80 bucks, I believe. At the time that we got it, I'll see if I can insert like a before picture. Yeah, that's what the dollhouse looked like at first. And there is a big problem because the floors, all the floors, each floor was like, the wood was dipping down so it was warped and so the floor wasn't even and so this dollhouse took a lot of effort but we managed to do it and it was great. And there wasn't any walls so and I'll talk about the walls in just a moment but we managed to figure it out and it is amazing. So first, I actually want to show you guys the top of the dollhouse. This is where we keep most of the storage, which this, having a top to the dollhouse where it's just flat is perfect because it's great to store stuff, pretty much. So I'll just give you guys a quick little tour of the top. Uh, so I, I put this here. This is just a little plastic container that we use as a bin, and there's just paper doll books in there. Um, but in here, we just have random things, uh, an umbrella for a doll. This is a Moxie Girls umbrella by the way. And there's also an easel, which this is super cute. It's not really meant to be a doll easel, but I mean, it's doll sized, so you might as well. This side is a whiteboard, and then this side is a chalkboard. This we actually got at Walmart for really cheap, and it was in the, like, the craft section, where you can find, like, all the wooden do-it-yourself paint stuff, if that makes any sense. So definitely go look for one of these, because it's super cute. I just gotta find somewhere to put it. Um, and we also found this at Walmart. Oh my gosh, seriously? Okay. We also found found this at Walmart as well, and I'll try to fold it out with one hand. Oh my gosh. This is obviously for humans, but um, it's just a folding out accordion picture frame. And again, we found this at Walmart, and we thought that we could use this inside the dollhouse. We have random kitchen stuff in here, which I think is really cool. These you can use as doll pans and we actually got these from like the crescent roll containers you know at the ends if you guys know what I'm talking about at the ends of the containers there's these things metal things and then this one has holiday stuff and then here there's just random toys which again I'm not gonna go through but I can tell you this is from McDonald's like the little like you can use this as I can't, I can't talk. You can use these as little Barbie stuff, you know. I keep some textbooks, which I'll talk about books later in the video, but they're just little pretend textbooks for the kids. This one has a bunch of random stuff, and I'm not going to go over it. Most of this is just regular Barbie stuff, like Barbie hangers and, um, what is that? A little helmet. Random things that you'd get in Barbie play sets, you know? Some of them are really old, though, so I don't even know where you would find them. But, you get it. And then in there, there's just a bunch of doll bags, purses, stuff like that. So, just wanted to show you guys. And then in this box, we keep a bunch of cutouts, which again, we're going to talk about in later. We're going to talk about this stuff later in the video. This is actually a play food box that is Barbie size, so it's really neat. Yeah, there's like magazines, food products, you know, like waffles. And I'll just let you guys browse through that. Just all groceries that we keep in there. And then there are also a bunch of blankets, which some of these are actual Barbie blankets and aprons, but stuff like this and that, these are actually from socks. And if you guys want a video on that, I'll just show you guys, but basically you just cut off the toe and the top, and then you cut straight 
on the edge to separate it, if that makes any sense. I don't know. If you guys want me to show you guys, I can, but yeah. Whoops, I knocked something down. Okay, this video is going very bad. <laughs> first things first, all of the floors and walls were used as scrapbook paper, and they were actually from these packs that we got at Walmart. Each pack was five bucks, and there was like a lot of paper in them. So I definitely recommend that you check out Walmart for some doll stuff because you can find some really, just any store in general, you can find some really creative things in there. All, all the floors, all the walls are made of scrapbook paper, except that little rug. This is actually from a bathroom rug that we just cut up in a new square. So got that. All right, so these walls that we used to separate, we just used these styrofoam sheets that we got from my sister's dollhouse which is a kid craft dolls and it just not that you guys really care but it just comes from the styrofoam that came with it so we use those to separate the walls um where am i going to start okay i guess i'll start in this room um so we can actually turn on the lights which i forgot to show you guys but these are little led lights that we taped at the top and make sure that you use electrical tape not just regular tape because you don't want to like burn your house down so definitely use electrical tape it's a lot safer so, and then there's a little thing, which is battery powered, which is amazing for these lights, so you don't have to worry about light bulbs. And they're really cheap. I believe this was like less than five bucks, so. Yeah, it turns on and you got lights, so really nice. Um, so in this room, these little things that you see on the walls are actually puffy stickers that we got at Dollar General, but you can find stickers anywhere, really. The bed is made of cardboard, and we just use socks for the blankets in that one technique that I just told you guys about. And then those are made from the top of socks, the little pillows. This, I don't know where we got that from. Um, the crib was made out of a little gift box that I just covered in paper and put a little bundle of thing on there. These are beads. These are just, these are actually caps from like hairspray and just hair products in general. And then if you want, you can wrap them in scrapbook paper. And then for the toys, I can't really explain where we got them from. Some of them are from play sets. Just little tiny random toy, random little things that you can use as toys. So I'm not, I can't really go through that. But these little blocks, for example, are actually little eraser cubes that I just wrote letters on to make it look like baby cubes. You know, for, I can't really name where I got these from. They're just these little tiny gift boxes that I just cut in half and then covered in paper. Those are DVD players. Again, you guys kind of had to watch the tour in order to understand what I'm talking about. And then this bookshelf took forever and I wasn't able to stand a lot of these books up. Okay, that's a bad example. Um, but uh, most of the books were the wrong size so I couldn't stand them up so I just laid them out like that. But yeah, this is made completely from cardboard and scrapbook paper. So yeah, and I'll talk about books a little later. Now for the bathroom, the bathroom isn't completely done but again, scrapbook paper, scrapbook paper, styrofoam. That, this is from like a mirror paper. I, you can use an actual mirror, but yeah, just like a mirror paper. I don't, I don't know what it's from, but you'd have to ask my mom. But it's just like mirror paper, and then this is from a can. And the bathtub, oh my gosh, the bathtub. Wow, how am I going to explain how I made this? Um, basically, just glue styrofoam and cardboard together. Basically, this is scrapbook paper, that glue that you see. This is styrofoam. This little ledge and stuff is all made of cardboard besides the back. And then we did like a little tiling made with scrapbook paper. This, which is supposed to be like a drain stopper, you know, so the kids don't stick their fingers down there. This is actually a Kropi magnet. I just thought it was cute, so I was like, yes. And then there's a bunch of little doll things, which I can't tell you where I got them from because I really don't know. I think the thrift store, but like a little thing of toothpaste, which is so adorable. A mirror, just random stuff. This little thing that we used to hold the doll brushes, this is a cap that we just covered in contact paper. This room here, um, most of the stuff I would say is bought. Um, the bed I actually got from a website called Listia. Um, you can probably find it on eBay. It is Mattel, so it, and it has ballet shoes, so it might give you a hint of ballet shoes. So it may have to do with the ballet Barbie. I don't, I, I don't, I've actually never ever seen this bed anywhere else, so I really can't help you there, but it's just a plastic bed that I found on Listia. Yeah, if you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, and this is a drawstring bag that we just use as a blanket for now. 
and I cannot talk because my throat is so dry. Ah! And then regular doll bed, not doll bed, doll bag. Um, these, again, we'll talk about books later. These are just like those little plastic containers to store, dip in for food and stuff like that. Um, yeah. Um, same thing with those. This desk. I don't know what play set this is from, but there it comes in a set. And we just got it at the thrift store, so I really don't know. <laughs> yeah. All right, so now for the, what I would call one of the most exciting floors. I'm going to try to go through this as quick as possible. Let me just knock this down. Um, this is a part of a makeup container. Hi, guys. That we made, that we put this little, again, that mirror paper. I think it comes inside of phone packaging sometimes, but I don't know. It just looks like a mirror. But you can use actual mirror. You can get those from Michael's pretty much anywhere. And yeah, we just covered it in contact paper. But you can make one out of cardboard and lids so many things like that. These little magazines are pretty much just pictures that we cut out of magazines and this one's glued to cardboard. This other one I just stapled to a stack of paper and I don't know where that little phone came from. This little dog bed we made out of cardboard and I'm not very satisfied with it but it does the job. So yeah and I don't know what that is. I think that's a sticker. I don't know. The couch my talented mother made out of styrofoam. We can't really show it. You guys can kind of see the styrofoam. But then it was covered with this stuff. I don't I don't even know what that stuff is. But she made it. So it's amazing. I also got to get some fabric to cover it. But yeah. And then this was made out of cardboard. All these were made out of cardboard. Now the DVDs that are inside is pretty much the same technique as those magazines. You just cut out pictures of DVDs and movies and you can glue them onto cardboard. That's pretty much it. There are so many different movies and you know what? For the sake of the video, I'll go ahead and take them out. See? They're just a bunch of movies. You guys can see. So, yes! Um, then... This dining table is one of my most favorite Barbie doll things ever. This is the Gloria dining table set, which you can find on eBay. It was Ours was close to 20 bucks, which I think is a really good deal compared to what a lot of Barbie furniture costs today, you know. And it comes with all these chairs. And this little thing, we actually glued down the salt and pepper shaker and all these little things. But this came with it. And then this little banana thing is an eraser, and this fruit thing also came with the glory set, which I think the painting is a horrible job, but I'm not going to complain too much about that. <laughs> Whatever. So, ah, the fail, fail, fail. And then that little sign we cut out of the catalog, and then all the pictures we printed. These are actual pictures of the doll family. This little booster seat, which goes like this. Yeah. Uh, this was made out of cardboard, if you guys want to know how to make it. It's pretty self-explanatory, kind of. You know, if you guys want a tutorial, I can show you guys. These little placemats also came with the set, but I covered them in red to match the red that's going on in the house. And then this little container, I don't know where I got this from, but these little china glasses also come with the Gloria set. I highly recommend that you get the Gloria set. It, it is just amazing. Now, one thing that you, I'm probably going to get a lot of questions on, and I'm going to talk about it right now, is the kitchen. This little kitchen, I believe that the brand is somewhere around Modern Comfort. Mine was called something a little different, but it is the same set, and it is very hard to find and pretty expensive. This one was about 40 or $42. Got it on eBay. It was really expensive. I can't really help you on where to find it. If I Maybe I will look on eBay and try to link it down below. But you just kind of got to do your own research. So, um, yes. So up there, um, just, I got the thrift store. And these are just, came with random little playset things. Oh, this is actually a Starbucks lid. Oops. And there is something, that cupcake thing is stuck in it. But um, it's like a little cake pan, you know? So in here, um, this Barbie playset. Again, these were just pictures of food that were cut out and glued on top of, in this case, styrofoam, but you can also use it with cardboard. I, I love doing that with food. It's a great way to save money and recycle. So, see a little cake mix. <laughs> um, just some more pans under there. And this thing is really awesome. Play set. So then this part also comes with it, which there is a picture on the other side, but I covered it with this measuring chart. This came with a Barbie play set. This opens these little bins we made out of cardboard. 
And again, more pictures glued onto cardboard to make the little laundry stuff. Pictures covered on, put on cardboard, like cleaning stuff. These were just a bunch of plastic items you know, that I made baby bottles of. And then more cardboard stuff. Now up here, I'm gonna open. Dishes. Um, I can't help too much on where we got these from. Some of these little wine glass or whatever they're called, um, some of them come with the Gloria set, but other ones I, we found at a random store that I'm probably not going to be able to help you find. It's a store called Melrose. They might not ha even have it where you live. It's in limited locations, but we just found these plastic little cups and stuff. And that comes with the plastic cups as well. These come with the kitchen set, and then the back ones also come with the plastic stuff. And then these, that was a fail. All, let me just show you guys, all of these dishes here, which is a lot, comes with the Gloria set as well. Again, you should check it out. Um, those also came with a plastic set, and I don't know where, the, these came from the thrift store, so I really don't know where they came from, but, I mean, I know where they came from, I just don't know where they originated, if that makes any sense. Uh, it also comes with the freezer, fridge set, just a bunch of more stuff glued on the cardboard. Um, stupid that. I cannot grab anything. This was made out of polymer clay, and I'll show you guys my polymer clay food that I made. Just a bunch of food items glued onto cardboard. Those came with plastic stuff, and I just covered them with labels. If I can, oh my gosh, it's so hard to show you guys. Like, this is orange juice, and there's also a milk one, and I'll just throw it in there for now. I'm just trying to go quickly through this video, but this is taking forever. Um, and then this little wine holder and the wine bottle. That happened. Uh -huh. And then, and I'm, uh, I'm not really going to be able to get these open because I'm doing this with one hand. But there's just more snack stuff. Things covered with cardboard, pretty much. Tell us. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much the kitchen. Um, this, uh, more cardboard stuff. <sighs> Everything is just failing on me. These little cereal things. There's Wheaties and there's also wheat squares back there. These are printed out and glued together, which I failed at, but it works. And last but not least, there is a little container that just has silverware, which also came with the Gloria set, so yay. And then as you can see, there are lights at the top that are taped down. These are Christmas lights, but they're only temporary. We want to get more of those little LED lights, but for now we're just using these and I plug it into that little plug over there, so yay. So this bed we made, or I made, um, I use cardboard, a bed sheet, or not a bed sheet, um, not that it really matters, it's just fabric, but in this case I used fabric from a pillowcase that had a hole in it, so yeah. These little pegs back here, kind of like little decorations, those are little beads. These pillows we made out of socks, and this is one of my favorite ones. Cardboard, which is still not done, but that's cardboard, more printed out pictures. The playroom, oh my gosh, there's a lot to show you guys. So, these little animal things and little flowers. There's an owl one. And there's those. These are puffy stickers that we got from Walmart. But you can get puffy stickers anywhere. Now, this kitchen set, I'm probably also going to get some questions on. This we got from the thrift store, so I really don't know. I, I just, I can't, I can't help you there because I really honestly don't know where they originate and where you can buy them, but we found ours at the thrift store, so, yeah. And then this we also got from that Melrose store, the same store that we got those little plastic plates and cups from, well, some of them. These are little pictures of puzzles glued on a cardboard in a little sauce container. And there's a bunch of random things that I can't even show you guys because some of them come from play sets, some of them are homemade. Can't really help you there. Another hairspray cap, which these little dolls are Polly Pockets. Some of them are headless. And then this also comes with the same brand and set as those. And then there's another little um, cap that has a bunch of random toys. This is actually an eraser that we got from who knows where. Just a bunch of little random things like I was talking about with the toys, just random stuff. Now this bookshelf we made and again I made them the wrong size, the bookshelf, so they can't stand up on their own except those ones. But these are just pictures of books 
put on cardboard. If you guys want like an in-depth tutorial on that and like where I found the catalogs, things like that, feel free to request it down below and I'll be sure to make one of those. I was actually thinking about it. So yeah, just a bunch of books and I'll just let you guys look. So yeah, that's that. Now this room, most of the stuff in here I would say is homemade. Um, as you can see, some things are plastic. These are from McDonald's. They're little Polly Pocket purse things. Keychain. Another bookshelf, which I made out of cardboard. And again, with the books, just pictures on cardboard. This came with a Kid Craft dollhouse. It's just a wooden, an old one that I had. A wooden laptop. And then all of these are McDonald's, um, little McDonald's old, I can't even describe it, old McDonald's Barbie things, the good ones that they actually used to give out that no longer give out anymore. Um, these trophy kind of things, I wish I could show you guys better, but those are all homemade, just made out of beads. This is actually those little kickball things, like, what is it used to be called? I think it's called a hack, hacky sack or something like that? I don't know, and I just cut the tag off. We got these from Oriental Trading, and we have a bunch of them, so... I just use them as bean bags. It kind of is like a bean bag, you know? This is all made out of cardboard. This is an old Barbie TV from like the 80s um, or the 90s or something like that. Made that out of cardboard. Um, all these little bins and books have cardboard. And again, you guys kind of had to watch the original tour to know in detail what these are. But I'm just telling you guys kind of what I made them out of. Um, just to show you guys, yeah. Just little pictures on cardboard. This is from Oriental Trading. But it kind of looks like a little Barbie notebook, you know? So yeah. Uh, the bed took me forever, but this is made out of cardboard. I've made so many doll beds out of cardboard, especially bunk beds, and I really like this one. And again, the blankets are just made from socks that had holes that we just recycled, pretty much. Just um, cardboard, pretty much. Again, if you guys want tutorials on anything in this house, or any doll stuff in general, just let me know and I'll be sure to do them. I am out of breath. Um, this video is probably really long, but it was worth it because you guys get ideas. And I really like watching doll tours, pretty much. So, also be sure to watch the original dollhouse tour if you guys want to actually see it without the blabbering about what stuff are made of. Um, that's just the basic tour. So, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys later. Bye!